Do you know he made one of his first cars out of hemp? <laughs> well, he used hemp fiber for the panels. Okay. Yeah, it's um, a this fascinating video of him banging on it with a hammer. Because hemp is uh, bizarrely durable when it's uh, compressed and when they take the fibers and I, I don't know what kind of epoxy they use or something to put it all together. But uh, what what it makes with the, the actual physical form of it is insanely light, yeah. like fiberglass light, but very, very durable. See if you can find that video. It's kind of crazy. Henry Ford is banging on, uh, on a, it was the hood of it okay. with, with a hammer. Yeah. Here it is. So this was like, look at that. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? As well. I don't know why they stopped making them out of that. That was from 1941. Hmm. How much does the Cybertruck weigh? Uh, it's a configuration, but it's about I don't know, seven thousand pounds. Whoa! Six, there's different versions, but six, six, seven thousand pounds. And it's, it's, it's it's like similar to like it's a heavy truck, like a Ford F two fifty or something like that. Yeah. And it because of uh, all of the 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 metal and the weight and everything like that. But with the engines that you have, it's still the zero to sixty is pretty bizarre, right? It's like three five or something like that. We're aiming at the zero to sixty below three seconds. Below three. Yes. Wow. For the you know, the beast mode version. So we've got a beast mode version. That's uh, um. So there's there's there's. Well, I don't want to give it all away, right now. But um, there are, there are three demonstrations. One of them people are aware of, which is, uh, you know, emptying a Tommy gun into the side of the car, um, a shotgun, 45 and a nine mil and no penetrations. Wow. And that's, that comes, it comes that way from the factory. Can I try it with an arrow? Yeah, it'll be fine. You think so? <laughs> I mean, a, 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 I bet I can a get a crossbow in might. I have a 90 pound compound bow that shoots 520 grain arrows that 300 feet per second with a I think our, razor I, sharp broadhead. We we'll try right now if you want. I wish I had it with me. Um, <coughs> I don't. Is it at your house or something? Yeah. Should we send someone to go get it? We could no, do the demo tonight. That would be interesting. Yeah, I'll walk, I'll, maybe I'll drive back with an arrow sticking out of my car. I bet I could get it in there. Okay, I'll bet you can't. Really? Yeah, I'll bet you're dollar. Damn. <laughs> I'd like. Damn, I think. I, I think I... If, if you have a a crossbow. That's with with enough force you might a crossbow. The thing about a crossbow is the through. bolt, even though it's very fast, it's <clears> not going to be nearly as heavy. You you won't you, have you, as many you grains. Make, you you can make a a, a heavy crossbow. Bolt. You could yeah. yeah, but generally, uh, crossbow bolts are considerably lighter. They're much smaller, you know, and they they they're much faster. They're they're moving at like four hundred five hundred feet per second. Easy. Yeah, I mean the the thing that matters is kind of the energy per unit area so um so interesting like like a like a nine mil or 45 which is basically sort of a 10 mil um the the, the 45 is they're roughly the same but the, the 45 actually is slightly worse penetration than a nine mil you know what i just realized i do have some broadheads i do have some broadheads and i have a less powerful bow but i have an 80 pound bow Go back there it. i think we should do it absolutely okay well you want to do it right now yeah, I can do it right now. Okay, let's do it right now. Let's do right. it right now. Okay, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Sick. We'll wrap right <laughs> This could be funny. I'm well, just like, why does he have an arrow sticking out of his car? I mean, just through our ricochets. <laughs> like, <laughs> you might want to do it with a slight angle. <laughs> you know what I mean? Maybe <laughs> 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 Tip of the arrow. Look at the tip of the broadhead. Oh, yeah, That's impressive. Hey, cutie. <laughs>
Thank you. Well, now we know. So uh, we uh, just shot an arrow into it, and it, it barely scratched it. Barely scratched it. Yeah. It was probably moving 275 feet a second. That was a 525-grain-ish arrow with, uh, yeah, even more than that because it had the 125-grain head, so that was 545 grains. That's impressive. Yeah. Very impressive. It just destroyed the broadhead, broadhead flattened at the tip, and then the arrow blew apart. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. It's uh, it, Like I said, you could um, we have a, a cool video we'll show at the handover event next month, uh, which is emptying an entire magazine of a Tommy gun, which I think is like <laughs> on the order of 50 rounds. Of four. Uh, just go, you're just going full Al Capone, you know, like and out on the you, side of the car, shotgun, 9 mil, 45. And you built it like this just for fun. Well, I mean, because uh, it's cooler. I mean, because you can. <laughs> you know, uh, trucks are supposed to be tough, right? Yeah. So, is your truck bulletproof? No, mine is, mine's definitely not. Exactly. And if I shot mine with my my bow, would go right through it, one hundred percent. So, if if you if you shoot any normal car, unlike in the movies where people hide behind car doors, uh, a car door is basically a very thin mild steel. Uh, so, uh, if you if you shoot a gun at a <laughs> through it through like a regular truck, it'll go out. It'll go through both doors. So, um, it's it, you can't hide behind a, a car door like they do in the movies. Mm. You know, the back way back in the day, dating myself, but the the A team where they would like, you know, they'd be like bullets flying everywhere and they'd be hiding behind the car door. Right. That doesn't work. Um, but it does in a cyber truck. Did, was there ever? Oh, any... Is this best in apocalyptic technology? Yeah, well, it, oh, it, don't know. it's, it's a, an amazing car to have in the apocalypse. Yeah, exactly. it, doesn't it also just like, the, does it still do this thing where the the ride height raises? Yeah. And so you can, and there's also no regular drivetrain, so there's no axles that Correct. are the uh, impediment to going over rocks and things like yeah, that. Yeah, normally in a in a in a, in, a, in other vehicles, in a gasoline or diesel vehicles, you've got the um, differential which uh, hangs down low between the uh, the rear wheels, so you like look under a car under a truck, it's there's almost always a differential there that's hanging down pretty low. So if you hit the diff on a on a rock, you'll break it. Yeah. But there's no there's there's no um it, it, the the bottom of the side truck is completely flat, and has the, the best clear height of any any vehicle. 